When I married and moved to Glen Esk over 50 years ago, life was very different to what I had been used to in Brecon. There was no street lights, no shops, no public transport and to begin with, no friends. I got used to the changes as we had travelling shops every week. Two grocer, bakers, fish, butchers and dairy vans. There was also a van selling haberdashery and household goods three or four times a year. In time, I became very accustomed to life as a farmer's wife and then two children and learned country ways. I had driving lessons before moving up the Glen but kept filling my tests. I kept trying a while afterwards but found that driving was just not for me. There were quite a few families who had been in the Glen for generations. My husband's folk have been here for around 180 years. It was a close-knit community with a varied social life. There was a primary school which was very small, gave the children a very good education. However, that has now been closed. Gradually, many of the older families died out and as new people arrived, the ethos of the Glen changed. The sense of the community and the social life lessened, with the newcomers mixing with the, within themselves and not integrating so much with the rest of the Glen folk. A number of years ago, my husband and I were members of the Rural Transport Forum and managed to get the school bus to Brecon for two hours every Friday. I managed until over two years ago when my husband had a stroke and had to give up driving. We had used this bus regularly. This is now to be withdrawn to save money. I have no other way to get out of the Glen to go shopping, make appointments or meet friends. We had the same council tax as others in Angus, but we have no street lights, no library, no food waste bins or now no bus service. I do not begrudge the Brecon residents their town bus service, but wonder when I see buses go round and round, sometimes with very few passengers. Could it not be possible to move the time slightly to allow some of the costs saved to keep the Glen bus going? We have been told if we moved to Brecon we would be able to use all the facilities there. My husband was born in the Glen and at 90 years old wants to live out the rest of his life here. I am 74 and have mobility problems. I need to use a stick to get around. I feel we are being penalised because of where we live and one bus a week does not seem excessive and is vital for us to have a reasonable standard of living.